On one day every year, health workers in the Philippines take a little time out. It's an opportunity to mark their achievements. But not everyone is taking part. There's one disease that gives no respite. For the Department of Pediatrics, we have a lot of cases, admitted cases of dengue for this month. And most of the hallways are occupied with dengue patients. Since the rainy season, dengue, it boomed. It's a major public health concern. Yeah, it's one of the most common causes of hospitalizations in the country. You really don't know if she or he will die from the disease. So I po na channel de, tapos na ihilo po ako, nasusuka, nalalang, tapos hindi rin po makatayo. There's no cure, and until recently, no vaccine. The disease is spreading rapidly. For developing economies, it's a huge burden. And for the rich, the door is open. Now half of the world's population is at risk. About 180 to 250,000 cases of dengue occur here in the Philippines. So uh, that's a lot. And uh, out of this, about uh, 500 uh, or more are uh, dying because of dengue. For dengue, there is, of course, a human impact, which is hugely important. But there is also an economic impact, which is important as well. Economy, public health structures collapsed because the number of patients and the economic impact of such uh, outbreaks are very, very important, especially in emerging and developing countries. The cost of dengue globally to healthcare systems is almost $9 billion, which is a huge burden for developing countries. And it's Asia and Latin America that are seeing the biggest outbreaks.